it's Michelle from Noble Touch and today we are going to do a zinnia flower. Now this is a flower petal um, Julie's Reef Boutique does and I feel like she did it alive and so we were actually talking today about what we're going to film and and I told her I said hey, I'm going to do your zinnia uh, with some burlap and so she's going to film one as well with her spin on it and then so is Amber from the Southern Girl Can. So make sure to go and check out each other's videos and see the different concepts that we use. Um, now for this, I'm using the Dollar Tree Bicycle Wheel Frame. I'm using the, this uh, burlap garland. It's 12 inches by uh, 10 yards. This is a, a burlap. Then I'm going to use two fuzzy sticks, some zip ties, some U-shaped floral pins, and of course the center, now this is an eight inch center. This was yellow. I put a smaller plate, like a paper plate on top and then spray painted green. Um, I had wanted to use this on a daisy, um, but of course I don't have any white mesh right now. So I'll have to do that at a later date. So that's what we're going to use. So let's get started. So because we're using the burlap, you can't cut that with the wood burner. So we're using a rotary cutter. So what we're doing, since this is 12 inches, I'm cutting it 12 inches. So I should, because it's 10 yards, I should get 30 cuts. I'm only going to need 24. So we're going to go ahead and cut 24 12 inch pieces of this burlap. Just try to keep it as straight as you can. So we're going to do that and we'll be back. Okay. Now this is a little bit more flexible. So if you would like to starch it to make it stiffer, uh, you can do that as well. Um, and the burlap, I would recommend keeping this under a covered porch, you know, so it's out of the elements. But I think burlap just makes for a cool rustic look to it. So what you're going to do is take your square and bring in the corners, just like you would a normal flower fold. And what we're going to do is instead of pinching it in the middle, you're going to come down a little bit and pinch it about right here. Then you're going to take a zip tie and zip tie this like that. And then you're going to take this end here, pull it over and then pinch down here so you get that square look up top like so and then you're going to bring your frame over here which I've already attached one petal and don't worry these just came back in stock because they were back ordered but it looks like the site has them in stock again and then what I'm going to do it's just set it about right here and zip tie it to the frame. Now I'm going to flip this over. And then what I'm going to do is take another zip tie and zip tie it a little bit higher. Let's see where it goes here. Trying to reach it so it's not pulling the front. Just put it through the back section there, and that way that will help support it because, like I said, it is a little bit looser. Um, now, if you have a tighter burlap, tighter woven burlap, it might be a little bit stiffer. So we have this petal look here. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing all the way around the frame, and we'll be back.
so we have the first petal done on the outside. Now we're going to grab our burlap. And here's the fun thing you get with some burlap. You get some weird pieces. Okay, so what you're going to do again is just flip in. Now I found if you kind of flip this corner in, tuck it just a little bit and then flip it over, that way it just kind of all folds in and then pinch. And then put your zip tie on here. Okay, so now And then when you squeeze down below or when you pull this petal together, I don't know if I like that. I might have to, I might have to just cut another piece of burlap. Okay, so when you flip it over and pinch it together, go ahead and pull and stretch this to like that. And then we're going to bring our frame over here and then we're just going to attach it a little bit lower so it sits like this. So well, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to flip this over again. And you guys, this is burlap so um, you can get fibers in the air. So it's, Probably best to work with a mask when working with this because I can tell you right now once I'm starting to work with it I'm getting my eyes are getting irritated so um, just be careful when you're working with the burlap okay so now just grab the other piece you know the back piece like we did on the top petals and just have to tie that again like that and I was going to do some leaves but I don't have any green burlap because I thought it would be pretty with some green burlap leaves but I'll have to go to the store later and get that so like this so we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing all the way around Okay, so we finished the second row and you know what I'm going on to a third row because I just don't like that center with this color uh, <laughs> sorry to switch it up on you guys there in the middle but um, I'm gonna use this for a different flower like I said maybe a daisy I think I'm going to use instead one of my Spanish moss centers I think that will look just prettier all the way around it's a smaller center and and it just pops that pink out so now to make this this is on a almost like a four inch or 3.8 inch foam ball and it's just Spanish moss and it's glued and pinned all the way around and then I spray paint it black so I have videos on that um, I can link that underneath the description portion of this tutorial but I think that's just going to be prettier I like that center so that's what we're going with so sorry to throw that curveball at you but you know you all know how that goes. Okay, so I'm thinking I just need probably five petals on the inside. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and finish doing that. Now with these two, I didn't attach the back pedals on here. And I'll, I'll see. I don't think you're going to have to. Um, if it flaps a little bit too much, then I, I will, of course, attach that down. I mean, if that makes you feel better, go ahead and attach it down. I'll see when I'm, it's all said and done. Um, but we'll be back. Okay, so we're just going to push the uh, U-shaped floral pins over the pipe cleaners. And I'm just going to hit it with some glue too. Get that set up. Yeah, I'm glad. I, I think this was a good move going with changing up the centers because, like I said, I just don't like that. <laughs> Nope, yep, too big. So we'll go with the smaller one here. Let that glue dry. And then we're just going to insert through all this burlap and twist it around. Let's see here. Get it there and there. I see one trying to peek through here, I think, maybe not, oh, let's see here, try to get it in between these things here, just stuff it in, there we go. Pull down tight. Oops, what was that? Better check that, make sure it didn't move too much. Yeah. Just kind of pull it over like that. Okay, here she is, all done. I think she turned out kind of cute. Um, I'm glad we switched up the centers. Like I said, I did not care for that yellow green on this pretty pink. So, again, that's the Spanish moss center that I do. And I like how she turned out. What do you guys think? Pretty darn cute. Um, please also make sure to go over to see Julie's Reef Boutique and the Southern Girl Can. I'll post their links underneath the description portion of the tutorial and you can see their spin on this. Uh, pedal and please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel if this is the first time you're here and you like what you're seeing please subscribe click that uh, like button and the bell too for notifications when new videos come up I'm trying to do at least one a week um, sometimes it's more but like I said I'm trying to do at least one a week and Please make sure to follow me on TikTok and Facebook, Instagram, all that social media. And also, you guys, I keep forgetting to mention this, my jewelry. If you like my jewelry, this is paparazzi. I sell paparazzi on the side. It's more of a habit. <laughs> I really like this jewelry. It's five bucks. It's not expensive. It's nickel lead free, so it doesn't make me break out or anything. So I just love it. But anyway, if you like my jewelry, I will post a link underneath the description portion of the tutorial of where you can go buy the paparazzi jewelry. And you guys, thanks for joining me and you have a great day.